Today I tell a movie about affair. It can also make you look straight into an affair. Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Two American sisters, Vicky and Cristina, are best friends. This summer they decided to go on a trip without planning. Tourist attraction is Barcelona. Although the two are close friends, their personalities are completely different. Vicky is a master, with a conservative and sensitive personality. A very rational person, knows what she wants. Furthermore, she is about to marry her righteous and successful boyfriend. The purpose of the trip is to admire the architecture of Antony Gaudi. Christina is a single girl with an open personality who loves photography. Unlike Vicky, she didn't know what she wanted. But can understand what she does not like, this is also what Vicky does not have. She just broke up with her ex-boyfriend. The purpose of this trip is to heal heart wounds and change moods. Vicky's relatives lived in Barcelona, the accommodation problem was considered to be resolved. A relative named Judy, she and her husband have a very good disposition, and are also very enthusiastic. They arrange accommodation well. Also create an opportunity to introduce a boyfriend for Christina. But these two have no feelings for each other. In their spare time, Vicky and Christina immediately went to admire the architecture of Antony Gaudi. Vicky did not forget to learn the local culture. On this day, the Judy couple took them to a picture exhibition. Christina was attracted to the man wearing a red shirt in the distance. Judy says that the person's name is Juan Antonio, a great painter. Stories between him and his wife have been reported in the press many times. Two people love each, when parting they also fought to the point of the living and the dead. Christina seems lost in thought. After finishing their tour of the exhibition, the two went to a restaurant for a meal. It was a coincidence to see Antonio not far away. Christina feels that Antonio is still staring at them. Vicky asked her to wake up, if she didn't look at him, how could he look at us? At this moment, Antonio approached them. Without saying a word, he immediately invited them to Oviedo at weekend. The road is not too far, he will borrow a plane. After arriving there, they can see the statue. Drink some wine and do the indescribable. This is absolutely the worst man I have ever seen. The rational Vicky of course wouldn't agree. But the open-minded Christina was thoroughly attracted to this offer. Decided to accompany Antonio. After all, life is short and one should still have fun in time. Vicky thought of all the ways to prevent Christina's mythical choice. In the end she still can't be changed. Sitting on a plane to reach Oviedo. Under Vicky's persistence, they rented two rooms. Antonio is very disappointed but hides very well. Not only take them to see the statue, walk around the beautiful scenery but also eat delicious food. It was very difficult to endure until the evening. Antonio could not help but invited the two sisters to his room. But Vicky decisively rejected, but Christina is very interested. She went to Antonio's room. But it was at that moment when the two of them were about to create something. Christina suddenly wanted to vomit. Probably a stomach ulcer or eclipse. Out of way, Christina can only rest in the hotel. Only Vicky and Antonio were left to walk around. But Vicky always had a defense against Antonio. During the whole journey she kept distance from him. Until Antonio offered to take Vicky to his father's house. Vicky just felt interesting in this trip. Antonio's father is a poet. He always remembers about his former daughter-in-law. Antonio took Vicky to see his childhood habitat. The two people also have more topics to talk about. Until dinner, Vicky's boyfriend called. Vicky startled to say that the signal was not good and then quickly cut off. That night they drank some wine. Antonio also took Vicky to listen to guitar performance. Then take her for a walk in the park. Antonio compliments Vicky looks very beautiful. The two people talked more, their bodies leaned closer and closer. Then in the park happened things that could not be described. On the second day, they returned to Barcelona. Vicky was anxious and nervous, she dared not talk to Cristina. A few days later, Antonio actively contacted Cristina. Invited her to a tasting, then take her to his house. Completed unfinished work at the liquor store. Then Antonio took Cristina to play everywhere. Cristina also uses the camera to record beautiful things on the roadside. One day not long after that, Vicky met Antonio at the library. Asked him why he didn't contact her after that night. Antonio said that because Vicky is about to get married. 
He didn't want to influence Vicky and didn't want to hurt himself. For an explanation like this, Vicky also has no way of objecting. As the days passed, Christina moved into Antonio's house. And Vicky's boyfriend also decided to hold a wedding in Barcelona. So came to Barcelona. Antonio invited them to eat, the situation fell into embarrassment again. He originally wanted to use his feet to tease Christina. Unexpectedly touched Vicky's leg. This action made Vicky misunderstand again. She even linked a happy life with Antonio. But Antonio made it clear. He really loves Christina now. Vicky, though not committed but can only accept. Not long after that, Vicky gradually started to celebrate the wedding. On the day of the wedding, Antonio found a reason not to participate. Probably to make Vicky feel like he's interested. After that, Vicky and her husband started their honeymoon. And Christina and Antonio experience a simple happy life. It is not until this day that Antonio's ex-wife, Maria Elena, suddenly came to his house. Her mental condition was very poor, she did not have any other friends, and now lives very badly. Can only stay in the house of Antonio. Christina initially disagrees, what this kind of relationship is supposed to be. But when Antonio found the kinds of reasons, Christina can only agree. Maintaining this ambiguous relationship for a few days. On this day, the three of them went to the suburbs to play. Christina quickly went to the car to get painkillers. When she returned, she found that Elena was giving him a massage. It seems that the person who knows Antonio well is still Elena. Antonio praised Elena for having a gifted skill. Not just an artist but also a pianist. Elena asks Christina if she knows what instrument to play. Christina can only admit that she has no natural talent. Elena quickly said that she had such a natural talent. The photo in the suitcase was taken beautifully. Christina is a little angry because she cannot arbitrarily flip someone else's suitcase like that. But Elena has blatantly stated that it is a complex relationship after all. Once Christina has malicious intentions, what to do? But Christina in anger is still quite happy. This is the first time someone has praised her photography techniques. Since then, Christina and Elena become good friends. The two of them often go out to take pictures. Elena also became a private model for Christina. Until one day, they have a relationship in the photo development room. Christina is also very generous, talking about this with Antonio. Antonio did not notice. Just like that the three of them live happily together. Elena is no longer irritable and easily angry. Antonio also has a lot of artistic premonitions. But over a long period of time, Christina felt that it was not very suitable. Immediately said that she wanted to leave everything. She told Vicky that she wanted to go to France, wait for her to come back together. As for Vicky, after getting married, still going through the bland day with nothing new like before. But on this day, she finds Judy dating another man privately. This once again drove her mad. Judy tells Vicky that in fact she stopped loving her husband. But because of habit, she could not leave her husband. Vicky also did not hide, talking to her and Antonio let Judy know. Judy encourages her to bravely pursue love, but Vicky does not want to do so. Judy saw Vicky's hesitation. Immediately ask a friend to contact Antonio. Intends to create an opportunity to meet again. On the Antonio side, since Christina left. Relations with Elena go back to the way they were before. Every day there will be noisy quarrels. Until Elena could no longer stand it and left Antonio's. On this day, Vicky met Antonio again at a wine party. Antonio said he was single now. Also see Vicky weekend to meet. Vicky refused, but still went to the meeting place. Antonio brought Vicky home. After some words, he wanted to beat her. Elena impatiently took a gun and charged inside. Antonio consoled Elena and took the gun towards him. But she accidentally pulled the trigger, injuring Vicky's hand. This shot is considered to awaken Vicky. You shouldn't fall into this cloudy puddle. After Christina returned, Vicky brought all the stories over to her. Christina, after learning, feels very regretful. If she knew Vicky and Antonio had that relationship, she would not take a step further. But these are all in the past. After returning to America, Vicky continued to live happily. And Christina still doesn't know what she wants. That trip made them understand many different sides of their personality. And director Woody Allen.
analyzes women's attitudes toward love. In the film, there are several personalities of women. Taken together, it is actually a woman's personality. Do you feel the same way? Okay, today's movie ends here. Those who love the review of Lily are welcome to press the alarm or follow. See you next time.